Hello, and welcome to TII's instructional video for installing our fiber pathway system. Before we get started, be sure to follow all of your company's procedures as well as safety procedures for working with fiber optic cable, and be sure to wear these safety glasses. The elements of the fiber pathway system are the strips, the covers, and they come in 32 inch lengths, the installation tool, the flat 90 degree corner radius, the inside elevated corner radius, the wall sleeve, the cap, and for a typical installation we're going to be installing our CCP5 customer connection point. For this installation, the recommended tools are a drill, an eighth inch drill bit, five sixteenths drill bit, half inch drill bit, screwdriver, pencil, tape measure, small level, fiber optic shears, and of course safety glasses. A predetermined point of entry has been selected and drilled using a five sixteenth pilot bit finished with a half inch drill bit to accommodate our inside cable wall sleeve. Next we're going to be installing the CCP5. Remove the front cover, place it on the wall approximately where you want it mounted. Check it for level. Mark the holes. I'm going to place the upper screw in first, just to support the unit, while I attach the uh, lower screw. The unit secured. Okay, we're ready now to start placing our pathway. We're going to start at our point of entry, and I'm going to start by making a light plumb line from about the center of our entry hole down to where we're going to make the first turn. I'm going to temporarily install the wall sleeve with the cap, and I'm going to hold up a piece of raceway, holding it back from our first turn between three-eighths of an inch and a half an inch and going to the bottom of the cap. And then cut a section. The piece that we just measured and cut, now we're going to apply it to the wall. So remove the backing and place it up against the, uh, the cap on the wall sleeve and place it against the, the plumb line that we drew. Next I'm going to cut the second piece, a pathway. I'm going to hold it uh, 3 eighths to a half an inch short of the door casing here, running it along the baseboard and up to holding it short of 3 eighths to a half an inch of the plumb line at the point of entry. And I'm going to cut it to length. Now I'm going to apply the piece we just cut. I'm going to peel the backing off. I'm going to apply it uh, along the baseboard. Again, 3 eighths to a half an inch short of the casing. And this time I'm going to use the installation tool, the roller on the installation tool, and roll it up out along the baseboard. Now we're going to be running pathway up along the door casing. Again, I'm going to pull pull the backing off. Apply it along the door casing, holding it back 3 eighths to a half an inch from the, uh, 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 from the baseboard. And using the insulation tool, I can run it up the pathway up along the door casing. And now I'm going to continue installing the pathway up against the door casing, peeling and rolling as I go. Now 
Now we're going to be joining two sections of pathway. I'm going to be using the blade end of the installation tool and insert it in the slot of the previously installed raceway. Using the blade to align the new section of raceway and with some a little bit of force apply it to the wall and now continue rolling up the wall as we did the previous strip. I'm going to finish applying the fiber pathway strip. I'm using a technique where I'm pulling the backing off as I use the installation tool to roll it in place. You could also pull the backing strip off and just use your finger to apply the, the pathway. I'm finishing applying the fiber pathway strip um, to the corner of the casing and again I'm just removing the backing rolling it as I go and I held the fiber pathway about a quarter inch short of the corner with the CCP5 customer connection point installed the raceway will be running up up from the uh, from the bottom so there's multiple tabs depending on your application and your installation and these tabs will need to be broken away. With the fiber pathway installed up to this point, I drew a plumb line from the entry point of the CCP5 and with a pre-measured piece of raceway I'll now install it. I'll put the raceway right up against the CCP5 following my plumb line and drop it down to meet the rest of the way the rest of the pathway. With the peelable micro drop cable passed through the wall and peeled back to expose the 900 micron fiber, I'm going to install the wall sleeve. Install the fiber through the uh, through the slot and face the slot down towards the pathway and press the fiber in place and install the cat. I'm going to continue to route the 900 micron fiber through the pathway. Start out by placing it and I'm going to use the installation tool now. And routed along the pathway. Next I'm going to install a flat right angle corner and I'm going to measure a piece of pathway cover, cut it to length and snap it in place. I'm continuing to route the 900 micron fiber in the pathway going up the door casing. Using, once I get it started I use the installation tool that makes it easy to feed the 900 micron in the pathway. Again I'm going to install the corner, flat 90 degree corner and that keeps the fiber at a good radius. And I'm going to just measure out a piece of cover between the two corners, cut it to length, and snap it in place. I continue routing the fiber through the pathway around the door, and I've come to an inside corner. So I'm going to install our inside elevated corner radius. This snaps over the pathway. It controls the radius of the fiber and also protects it. I'm continuing to route the fiber through the pathway with the installation tool going around the corner up to the CCP5 
and install our flat 90 degree corner. And I'll finish it with the covers. I'm going to finish the installation by continuing to route the fiber in the pathway up to the CCP5. Then I'm going to take a piece of pathway cover, measure the approximate length, cut it, and snap it into place. The CCP5 can manage a bit of slack, but in this case I don't have much, so I'm just going to terminate the SC connector into the adapter, place the cover, and you're ready to install your ONT. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to pass the peelable microdrop cable through the wall. Remove the cable from the bag, and with a pair of flush cutting cutters, carefully cut the tie wrap from the peeled end, and remove the protective bag. Using our fiber installation tool, or fit tool, first remove the cap from the SC connector. Place the SC connector at the end of the installation tool, and reinstall the cap. This will keep the SC connector in place. Place the peelable portion of the fiber in the fit tool, and you could use a piece of tape, a piece of electrical tape to help keep it in place. Now insert through the wall, half inch hole through the wall. From inside the dwelling, pull the fit tool completely through the wall. Remove the tape that you use to help secure the peelable microdrop cable to the fit tool. Pull the SC connector off the fit tool. Reinstall your cap, and your peelable microdrop cable is now through the wall.